Hi everyone, welcome to week number 21 of Life Changing Scriptures. This week we're learning Mark 11, verse 23 to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I've chosen this verse because we all have mountains in our lives, and those mountains can be physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, and Jesus he tells us how to get rid of them. First of all, he says that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. And then he goes on to say, believe those things which he saith, and he shall have whatsoever he saith. This goes back to one of our earlier life-changing scriptures that says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So we need to command these mountains of fear, unbelief, poverty, addictions, and sickness, and whatever else they may be, to go. And then we need to believe and not doubt that they will go. And Jesus promises that those mountains will be removed. He promises that whatsoever we desire when we pray, if we believe, we shall have them. Of course, I want to quickly point out that our prayers need to line up with God's will and his desires first and foremost. James 4 verses 2 to 3 says, Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not, ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lusts. So if you are asking to consume it upon your lust, you are asking amiss, which means wrongly or inappropriately. On the other hand, if what you are asking for lines up with God's will and his promises, then he will answer you. Because when God makes a promise, he will keep that promise, no matter what, as long as we believe. The Bible says in Numbers 23 verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? God will make his promises good, but we have to believe in him. Jesus also says in Matthew 17 verses 19 to 21, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. So according to this verse, if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible unto us. So if we will have faith in God, we can speak to our problems and our situations and have what we say that line up with God's will. For example, if we need healing, we can say, I speak to you, body, and I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. In Isaiah 53, verse 4 to 5, we can take it and speak that over our life and say, Jesus has borne my griefs and carried my sorrows. He was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him, and by his stripes I am healed. So I thank you, Lord. I am healed. And as we speak this in faith without doubting, God will move mightily on our behalf. God talks about this power in his word. He says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. 
as God's word goes out of our mouths, it won't return unto us void, which means completely empty. It will accomplish and it will prosper in the thing it was sent. So let's speak to the mountains in faith and command them to go. Don't let those mountains stay in your life and crush the life and hope and joy out of you. Be those mountains, be doubt, depression, greed, fear, addictions, lack, etc., etc. In James chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The devil will put mountains in our lives, and we need to submit ourselves to God and what he says about it such as, by his stripes ye were healed. And then resist the devil and he will flee from us. And remember, God keeps his promises. So as we end, let's finish with this verse. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So let's call unto God submit ourselves to him and speak to those mountains in faith knowing that all things whatsoever we shall ask in prayer it shall be done thank you so much for listening as per usual i've placed this verse in the playlist feel free to download it and listen to it over and over ask god to quicken it to you and like the word of god says Let's be a doer of the word and not a hearer only, deceiving our own selves. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next week for life-changing scripture number 22. Mark 11, 23 to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark eleven twenty three to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark eleven twenty three to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark eleven twenty three to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into to the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark eleven twenty-three to twenty. 24.